Greetings, this is Daniel Presedo for Photoshop CS6 Extended. And today we're gonna have a high level look at materials. I would consider this a part one of many. And I'm gonna create a 3D preset using one of our 3D presets. I'm gonna use a donut shape here. Rotate the camera. And we're gonna have a quick look at what you can do with materials. Like I said, this will be very high level. I don't wanna scare anybody off already. We'll do that later. I'm gonna quick click twice and you'll see that it is now in my 3D panel, my donut material is selected. And then the properties panel, you see a whole bunch of different things you can do to your object. Now there's shine, reflective roughness. We'll talk about these later on, but I just wanted to give you a high level view of how to get the materials, where to get them. You can click here and you'll see already there are some materials that are preloaded. These ship with Photoshop. In addition to, we're gonna add the default for Ray Tracer. We're gonna say append. These are the items you can already get with Photoshop. And you probably saw a whole bunch of others here listed on my preset material list and you can get all these yourself they're free go to the 3d menu get more content and their browser will take you to Photoshop 3d area where you can get all the materials here you'll leak you can even download some image based lights some stage sets try it all out it's all free and for you to experiment with Photoshop so to load or change material you can just click on this menu here and preset and you can just switch them just like that a checkerboard you can even do glass you can do all kinds of interesting things. We can even render this thing, ray trace, really quick. And the really fun thing with Photoshop in, in 3D and the materials is that you, is where really you can be creative with materials. You can experiment in a multitude of ways. The same way you would experiment with lighting. Materials is, is really dressing the object to, uh, to look the way you want it to look. So you're basically telling your, your model here, hey, I want you to change clothes. You're changing materials. Let's do another dressing here. Let's make you into brick or shiny gold. And this is where the ray trace shines. Now some of these properties you will not see in the OpenGL view here as well. They may not look as nice as they are when they're ray trace. And the ray trace you can access again through the properties panel with a button here. You can right click the button here. You can even select from the menu. And in this case I have actually made the shortcut command R because I rarely use the rulers these days. So I can just command R and kick off a ray trace build, um, excuse me, a ray trace render. And you can start to see reflections and other great things that you may not see in the properties really clearly in the OpenGL view. So those are where the materials are. Play with them a little bit. We'll go dive deeper in another video. And I hope this gets you started into road, onto the road of really cool 3D uh, imagery. Thanks.